What up guys, good morning, welcome back. And so as promised today, we'll be taking a step back to the Red House products, looking at the newly introduced line of products. And specifically, we'll be looking at what I'm most um, excited for, which is their matte clay. And so if you guys recall what they offer, my favorite currently is the Private Reserve, which kind of proves that they can offer a water-based product that is very strong, but it's not really super thick or really weighted yet yeah, still has like this sticky sticky quality that is very firm and strong and so what i'm hoping for is that they can bring out that same water base like strength put it into like a clay product and similarly to like what flagship did put out basically like a strong water based clay that is both convenient clean and can really bring out the the best characteristics of both sides of a clay and a water-based pomade. And so, start off this review, of course, by looking at the jar. This is it right here. This is the Red House water-based matte clay, firm hold, four ounces, clear glass jar. And to be honest, this is probably one of their more plain designs. And I mean, they kind of really went for that grayness to match the neutral like finish or the neutral color of clay products so I can understand that but we're really used to a more extravagant design with the Red House but it makes sense here so then we have directions on one side ingredients on the other and yes it is a water based product so opening it up even though you can already see the product through the glass jar you can see it here and it has that standard like gray slightly tan color it is lighter than the other ones we've seen before, which suggests it's a lower clay content. But then again, clays do come in multiple colors, ranging from white to dark gray to brown to tan. So anyways, let's go ahead and use it. The smell of this product is like tobacco vanilla, and it's that same tobacco vanilla we know with uh, the Red House that we've seen in multiple other products. So. It's like sweet, mostly sweet to me at least, and it's like pleasing in a way, but it is on the sweet side without like the fruitiness, obviously. So, styling with it now, the big things I'm going to be paying attention today is really kind of how strong is it, what type of texture does it provide, and does it make my hair like feel all dry and whatnot. But anyway, scooping it out of the jar is actually surprisingly easy. Really comes out pretty effortlessly. Um, and applying to the hair, I'm actually not feeling as much grip as I would have expected. Because even with the private reserve, I do recall it being a little bit like discomforting, just slightly because of like, how strong the product was. And like, I can feel some sort of grip here, but it's definitely not as strong. It's recommended that you apply this product into completely dry hair. And that's honestly my practice with most, most products anyways. But it's definitely something I would suggest doing for most clays. Assuming you're going for like a loose look, because it really allows you to optimize that volume and that hold. Even though in reality, the clay will also absorb some sort of... Uh, some level of uh, moisture from your hair, assuming it's not already fully saturated in the jar with the formula. Anyway, so just take one more scoop and we should be fine. So the way it's applied right now is like, you definitely feel a little bit of grip, but it's not discomforting at all. I would not really describe it as grippy in any way. It's actually pretty smooth. And what we can really see is the texture seems to be forming like on a coarser level, which is what I kind of expected from a product like this, which is also what I usually want from a clay like this. But the biggest thing is we'll have to see how well it styles and how much hold it really offers you. So go ahead, comb everything back now. It's surprisingly easy to comb through. Definitely not what I would expect out of a clay or rather what I normally don't see out of a clay. But just a small thing. So 
let's actually start styling. And so what we noticed like already is that like it definitely like suggests this texture like what we would expect out of any sort of clay but strangely like it's really calming for my hair right now. What I mean is that there are some products that I've used where my hair tends to really just calm down. It really like lines up. It really like it doesn't frizz it really doesn't go where i don't want it to or where i don't push it towards like it gets really well controlled i guess in a way and i sense it in this product i mean i was looking at the ingredients which i actually try not to because then it influences how i see it and now i'm influenced but like i saw the mango butter ingredient and i'm picking up this like smell that i associate with mango butter that i've seen in other products like crown and crumbs yeah, crown and combs. Yeah, which uses like a lot of like mango butter. I'm picking that same like I kind of smell, and for some reason like I'm seeing it in like the way it's styling right now, which, in all honesty, allows this product to go both ways. You can style a clean and neutral, not matte. I would honestly say this is very neutral finish, like pomp, which is commonly like not the case for uh, clay pomades, but you can do it with this product, or at least if you have hair similar to mine, like, it's either the mango butter or some other ingredient really calms down my hair and it really causes it to kind of sit like this. But you can still also texturize it as you can see back here, and the shape is still very nice. Height is about like, slightly above average, but overall the control is good. It's different from many of the other clays. Right now, it's definitely different in that it lacks like this this gritty dryness or this um what's the word for it it's like my hair isn't like freezing in the way that I usually see with clays and I usually get like strands everywhere but it's not the case here which is I find very interesting and very unique to this like red house like matte clay but yeah I mean overall it looks very nice I'm actually very surprised and very happy with it but um Big thing is we'll now go throughout the whole day and we'll just see how well it performs or what it ends up like. Cause I mean, hiking a uh, mission peak today or rather walking mission peak. It's not, I mean, not technically a hike. It's just a really long walk, but we're going to do that outdoors. Of course, it's supposed to be sunny today, but not hot. And yeah, so it'll be a good test. Well, it'll be definitely something that basically sees how well it performs throughout the day. So see you guys in a few hours. All right, so I'm back from Mission Peak, and what we see is, as expected, kind of like the pomp fell apart. Typically, as I mentioned a million times before now, texture of loose pomps will fall apart. You expect that. And so for endurance, you don't necessarily expect like a pompadour to last, but you do expect a high level of like aesthetics to survive the day, as in when it gets messy, it should still look good. And yes, it does have its own unique aesthetic to it. Definitely, like, you can't get that volume back just by finger combing, but you can just get a loose slick back. So what we're going to try now is what it's like to restyle if you were to have access to a comb. But what we really noticed is that really today wasn't even hot. It was actually pretty chilly. Uh, no sweating or anything. Just some movement and not very like quick or aggressive movements in any way and so what we see now is that like you can get some of the like height back not necessarily much of the volume or the forward movement that's typically very difficult and very difficult with this clay um but you can get some just like it looks fine and whatnot um but going back to what i mentioned before throughout the day like a lot of the products still felt as though it was kind of absorbed or kind of just like evaporated in a way. And this is something I've noticed with any product with mango butter since like it's always softened up. It feels a lot nicer, but then the product also becomes less resilient in a way for better or for worse. Um, 
let's see, film coming while I was like at Mission Peak, like, um, like many other clays, I really haven't noticed a clay that wasn't like this yet, but it could be somewhat like discomforting, um, kind of finger combing it back if there's like any knots that form and stuff. Um, for example, with the matte paste yesterday, old dudes, like, it wasn't really discomforting at all. Like with paste, you expect it to stay really soft, but with uh, clay, you expect some greeniness, some kind of stickiness, and that makes it a little like uncomfortable. And so, anyways, greasiness, definitely not at all. Hardening, like hardening, not at all. Washing it out, washes out in one shower for sure. And I guess the conclusion is, if you found like the Arcadian clay pomade to be a little too much texture for you, then this would be like a good alternative to that. Definitely, like it's, how should I say, it? it's more of, it's, it's very much undoubtedly a clay pomade. It's definitely like a texture, like pushing product. But in regards to like along the spectrum, like we have like Arcadian clay on one end, which definitely like forces you to get some texture, some looseness. This one is a little towards the opposite side of the spectrum where you can definitely still get that texture, but it doesn't force you as hard, doesn't force your hand as hard. And so it's a good balance between what some of you may still be familiar with, yet if you still want to get introduced to your clay. And overall, I would kind of describe it as like a medium, medium firm maybe type of hold with very lightweight. So it's a very light and clean clay, definitely not one of your heavier, goopy ones. And so if you might like something light, clean, and something that's not necessarily as like super like heavy with a texture as like Arcadian clay, then this would be definitely a good option. The Red House matte clay would be a a better option for you, a better fitting option for you. But yeah, so this has been a review for the Red House Matte Clay. Hope you guys got something out of it. Of course, we do offer the promo code to you guys, the pump, all caps, to take advantage as long as you guys buy direct this product or anything else. And so in the coming, actually tomorrow's holiday, so maybe we'll do a review tomorrow too, but at least in the coming reviews, we'll be again looking at the other Red House products along with the other new Old Dudes products. Uh, that, peace.